Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have this question over here coming from General Mathematics Grade 11. As we can notice in this given question, it is referring to business mathematics. And let's read the question over here. Harley works as a sales clerk in Vista Mall, Pampanga. He earns 65 pesos per hour and worked 40 regular hours and 8 overtime hours this week. In addition, he earns a 1,000 pesos monthly bonus and this week he also earned a 500 pesos sales commission. What is his total weekly income this week? As we can notice that this given question is referring to weekly wage. Hindi po fixed ang amount nito kasi it includes the overtime hours so iba ang rate nun sa regular payment per hour. Kaya pa natin ito makukuha? First, we need to get the regular pay which is 65 pesos per hour times ilan ba ang regular hours ni Harley per week? Very good, that's 40. Kaya we will multiply 65 sa 40 for us to get the regular pay which is the fixed amount as well. So 65 times 40, you can use your calculator or if you want to solve it manually, you can do so. So this would be equal to 2,600 pesos. Eh, katulad na na sinabi ko kanina, iba po ang overtime pay dito sa regular R. Ang rules po dito kapag nag-overtime ang isang employee, meron po siyang additional 25% sa kanyang payment. So, si Harley, meron po siyang 8 overtime hours this week. So, we will take the overtime rate for us to get the amount. We will get his regular payment per hour, which is 65 pesos, multiplied by additional 25%, and that is 81 pesos and 25 centavos. And next, i-check natin dito sa given question kung ilang basis ba siya nag-overtime. Kaya we will get his overtime pay which is 81.25 pesos per hour multiplied by 8 overtime hours. Very good. Okay, once again, you can manually solve this problem or you can just use your calculator instead. Alright, that's 650 pesos. And isama na rin natin sa given question ang 1,000 pesos monthly bonus ni Harley. Ilang weeks ba sa isang buwan? Very good. That's 4. Kaya we will divide 1,000 pesos by 4. Ano sagot doon? Very good. That's 250 pesos. And last, meron din po siyang kinitang sales commission na 500 pesos. So we will add that as well. And na yun, nakuha na natin ng regular pay, including his overtime pay, his weekly bonus from his monthly bonus, and his sales commission. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we will add all of these. So we will add 2,600, 650, 250, and 500. Okay, i-add na natin to. Zero. 2,000 years later. For which will give us the answer of 4,000 pesos. I hope you learned something new. It's me, Bernardo Escorial. Stack around. Good morning, AB community. It is your man, Aaron Espinosa, and today I'm going to be discussing about direct selling and indirect selling. So as you may have heard from the previous video that Bernardo has posted, himself would teach about math and more about finance. As of for me, I would teach more about business and any strategies regarding business. Basically, all everything all about business and a bit of values too. So, for today's video, I'm going to be discussing about direct selling and indirect selling. Let's start. So first, let's talk about direct selling. So what is direct selling? So, direct selling is when you buy a product or when you create your own product and you sell them directly to the consumer. What do, we, what, what do I mean by that? So, let's say you bought a product or fine, you created your own bakery. So, it is your own business. It is. It means you're, you're your own boss. Like, you don't have any resellers, you don't have any um, distributors, you're on your own. But, since you own a business, 
and it's yours, you don't have any resellers yet, you sell the product directly to the customer who ordered from you. Yes, there may be a use of delivery drivers, but those products that they ordered came directly from you. It didn't come from any resellers or any retail shops. It came from your own shop and it came from you. So that is um, the quick concept of direct selling. Is is even if you buy a different type of products, but you sell them directly to the consumer. Like you don't have your own resellers, you don't have your own um, help, you don't have any distributors. You sell them on your own. And that is the concept of direct selling. Now let's move on to indirect selling. So what is indirect selling? So indirect selling compared to direct selling, direct selling like what I said earlier, it means you are selling your product through you, through yourself. It means you didn't need any resellers, you didn't need any distributors, you sell the products on your own. And as for indirect selling, instead your products are being sold by other companies or other shops. For example, retail shops. What are retail shops? Such as convenience store, groceries, and supermarkets. And, and I'm sure there are a lot more. But what I mean about indirect selling is you're not actually the one who's selling your product. It is other shops, you know, like I said, retail shops. For example, you're a company called Nike and you sell your shoes to a retail shop called Tobies or Foot Locker. And then the retail shop Foot Locker and Tobies would buy the shoes that you sell and the shoes that they bought from you they would sell it into their shop. So the product that you sold to them, they will sell it through their shop. It is the most common strategy, especially if you want to spread uh, your product all around the world. So it's basically you sold your product to a retail shop and then the retail shop resells it into their own shop. And that's the basic concept of indirect selling. And another thing, also when it comes to online selling, like, mm, I'm gonna give an example to TikTok. If you guys are familiar with affiliate marketing, it means a person or a vlogger is um, advertising or selling your product. Well, of course, it came from you. Somehow, they will buy the product from you and they will sell it into their own shop in TikTok. So it's like, it's an, it's an affiliate marketing. It's like they're advertising your product and selling your product at the same time. And when you buy the product from them, of course, like 100% of the cash would go back to the owner, the original, but of course, it would also gain a commission for the, the reseller, the vlogger. And that is the basic um, meaning and all the concept of direct selling and indirect selling. So again, I'm Aaron Espinosa and I would do more of this content for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed my first session with you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.